Good evening. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Great. Thank you. Uh, my name is Patricia Taylor. I'm director of the Plastics and Waste Reduction Project for EHHI, Environment and Human Health in Connecticut. The proposed medical waste incinerator you are considering to permit expects to process a significant amount of plastics. Uh, EHHI is concerned about the incineration of plastics because of emerging and ongoing science on the health impact of our exposures to plastics and plastic waste. In addition, fine particle pollution presents an ongoing environmental and climate crisis from local to global communities. We also caution that PFAS, fluorinated chemicals that caused a host of human health harm in very low doses, are used to make medical products that include surgical gowns and drapes, implantable medical devices like vascular grafts, stent grafts, surgical meshes, heart patches, catheter tubes, sterile container filters, needle retrieval systems, tracheostomies, catheter guide wire for laparoscopy, and inhaler canister coatings, among other things. Should you allow this permit, you must protect the health of vulnerable residents who may be exposed to these harmful compounds in air, ash, and water pollution created by the facility. If that is your plan, then residents warrant notification in real time of the air, soil, or water in their community that may cause them harm. Please make any air, soil, and water quality monitoring test results you require as part of your permitting process to be immediately, easily, and continuously available to the public, either in the form of a reverse 911 system or through a health disparities map you produce in coordination with your state health department. Thank you for your attention, and um, I'll be submitting this as a written comment as well. I appreciate my ability to participate.